Hello, Sixties receiving students and teachers. Thank you. Take your seat. Now, Sixties and uh, receiving students, please. I would like you to look at the PowerPoint. On the PowerPoint, I have an activity for you to do before we go to our main lesson for today. Now, receiving teacher, I would like you to select two students, a boy and a girl, to answer those two, uh, to answer or give answers for the exercise. Now, receiving students and sixes, run off the decimal number 4.5362 1 you have to round it off to one decimal place and 2 you will have to round it off to two decimal place now for a model class sam sam i would like you to give the answer for exercise 1 on number 1 there round off that number 4.53 Six to one decimal place. Sam, can you give us the answer for the first one? What is that number to one decimal place? 4.536. Okay, let's have Imelda to help our friend Sam. Imelda? 4.536. Five three six to one decimal place. Four point five zero six. Very good. Four point five zero six. So four point five zero six or what? Four point five zero six? Who can help our friend Junior? Four point five zero six? Remember, we are rounding the number, decimal number to one decimal place. Robert? 4.56. 4.56, okay. Now, let us look at the decimal number here. Receiving students, I hope you have given the answer. Now, which number is to one decimal place? Which number on? Here on the board is to one decimal place. We have whole number here, decimal point, and these are the decimal numbers. Which number is straight after the decimal point? Five. So five is to one decimal place. Three is to two decimal place. And six is to three decimal place. So look at five. To run of five, we need to look at the second number. Is three greater than five? No, so are we going to round five upwards or we leave it as it is? Are we going to round it up or leave it as it is? Okay, we leave five as it is because three is not greater than five. So this number to one decimal place is 4.5. Now, how about the next one? The same number, but this time to two decimal places. Milika, let's have Milika. Milika, the same number but to two decimal place. What is 4.5? 4.53 to two decimal places. Four point five six. Four point five. 4.56. Let's go back to the number here. To run off three, we are trying to run off to two decimal place. So we are trying to round this number up to. Now look at six. Is six greater than five? More than five? So can we round this number up? Can we round this number up? Yes, we can round the number up. To what number? What is the next number? Four. So, this number to two decimal place is 4.5, not six, but 
four point five four. So, plus the answers for the reason exercise to one decimal place, four point five three six to one decimal place is four point five, and to two decimal place it is four point five four. Now, students, we will now move on to our lesson for today. What I have on the screen is the lesson topic for today. Students, what's the lesson topic for today? Okay. In today's lesson, we will be looking at addition of decimal. Simply, adding decimal numbers. Adding decimal numbers. Now, students, before we go into the main lesson or the activity of the lesson, I would like to give you some main ideas on adding of decimals or addition of decimals. Now, I have the first point there, first bullet point. Students, I would like you to read the first bullet point. Together. Okay, students, that's the first bullet point. When you are adding decimals, you need to align the decimal points. So remember that. The second bullet point, class or students, can you read the second bullet point? So sometimes you will be adding whole numbers with decimals. So when it comes to such examples, you need to fill in spaces with zeros. And the last bullet point. So one thing you must remember that when you're adding decimal point or decimal numbers, the decimal point do not move when you are adding. So these are the three main points that I would like you to remember when you are adding decimals. Now, I have two learning activities, which is on the board. Add these decimal numbers. The first one, A, we will do it together as practice, as a whole class receiving students and six is. And the next one, you will do it in your small groups. Once you have understood the basic idea of adding decimals, you will do the second one together in groups. So students, the first one is exercise A, 22 plus 5.37. So here, we are adding a whole number and a Decimal number. Okay, let us look at the first step in adding decimals. Now, class, please read what is the first step. So when you are adding the decimals, it is, it is important that you must align the decimal point. You remember your main ideas, point number one? You put them align simply refers to put them in column and then your decimal points and your numbers must be in their place value. So we need to put this number in column. So 22 plus 5.37. Now, students, before we go on adding, I would like to ask you a question. Imelda, 22 is a whole number. Now, where do you think the decimal point 
is, or the position of that decimal point in this number. Is it before the number or after the number? The position of decimal point. After the number or before the number? Imelda? After the number. Very good. Now, students, you must know that any whole number, any whole number, the decimal, the decimal point is always after the number. So in this case, the decimal place is after, after the number, which is after two here. So let's go back to our problem. So, because we are adding a whole number plus a decimal number, we have to make this whole number a decimal number. So, because Imelda has said that the decimal point is after the number, we place decimal point here. Now, we then go to the next step, step number two. Class, what does the step number two say? Okay, any empty space we fill in with zero. So, we fill in these spaces here. These are empty uh, spaces, so we have to fill it with zeros. Because there are this number, second decimal number is to two decimal place, we have to put how many zeros? Two zeros. Now the third step. What does third step say? So we add this decimal number starting from the right side, right to left. So let's add. Zero plus seven. Zero plus three. Before we add the next Numbers, what do we place? Decimal. decimal point. Remember, the decimal point must be aligned with the factors that is that you are adding. So you can see, this is the line place where you place your decimal point. They are all in line. Uh, two plus five? Seven. Seven. And two? Plus zero? Two. Two. Now our answer is, what is the answer to this uh, addition of decimal numbers? 27.37. Now receiving students and sixes. I would like you to do Exercise B, exercise B as your practice exercise in your groups. Now, for 6E or model class, you have been given a A4 papers, A4 papers. I would like you to, in your groups, answer, the, answer that uh, exercise in your group. The exercise B together. Try to answer or work out your answer on that paper which has been given, A4 paper. So group leaders, please choose somebody to do the writing for you. receiving students and sixes while you are doing that exercise. The rule, the, three, the steps in adding addition is also on the screen. It's also on the screen. Follow those three steps to add the decimal numbers.
please, when you're writing, try to write it big and clear. Hurry up, hurry up, one minute has gone. One minute has gone. Hurry up. While you are doing your exercise, refer to the screen. Screen is showing the steps in adding decimals. So there are three steps, there are three, three main steps. Hurry up, hurry up, one minute has gone. One minute has gone. Hurry up. Don't put equal sign, don't put equal sign, just me and that. You just start off with any, you looking, see my example there. I don't put any. That's okay, just rub it, rub it, rub it. You put 22.5 and then the next number down here. Column, column, column. Group. Okay, group eight, finish. Group eight, finish. Yes. Okay, class, let us look at the answers. Look at the first group, group nine. Okay? Have they followed, have they put the numbers in column, decimal numbers in column? Yes. Added zero and added from right to left. What is the answer? 27.87. Okay, we have 27.87 from group five. What is wrong with group five? What is wrong with group five? Decimal point. There is no decimal point. Therefore, this answer is not correct. Okay, this answer is not correct. We are adding decimals. So, once you don't give put decimal point between where it is supposed to be, then the answer is wrong. Though your working out is correct, but in this case, there is no decimal point, so the answer is wrong. This one, correct? 27.8. Seven, okay? Let us look at this group's work here. You see they're working out. They have put the answer on the side and equal working out. This sort of work is not correct. In maths, it is not correct. Answer is correct, but you see how they have put the answer. And compare with this one. And what I have shown you. So, students, when you are doing exercise, example given by teacher is very important. You must study the example and follow the example that is given by the teacher. Now, we will go into our exercise, receiving students and sixes. I hope you have understood the main steps of adding decimal numbers. Now, students, our exercise, there are three exercises on the board, are on the screen. Now, how to do this exercise? Receiving students and sixes, we will do it again in group. It is a group exercise. So, receiving teacher, please try to arrange your class in group and try to do those three exercises. For the model class, this row here, row uh, group, what's that group there? Group, group one up to group three, you are to answer exercise A. Group uh, four up to group six, you are to answer exercise B. And group uh, seven up to group nine, you are to answer exercise D. 
three. Oh, exercise C. So you have been given papers, A3 paper, uh, A4 papers. Please do those exercise in those A3 papers which were uh, A4 papers which were given. Again, please group leader appoint somebody to do the writing. It shouldn't take you that long. It's only one exercise only for each group. Now receiving students and six is I'll leave you to complete the exercise. Only do the activity or exercise that you are told to do. Receiving teacher, please supervise the students. Make sure they are doing the activity in their groups. Students, you must remember that when you're adding decimals too, it's remember the rules for adding the, uh, addition. So sometimes you, when you add numbers, it will be more than 10. So recurring is also involved, normal addition. Huh? So you will come across to cases like that. You're supposed to contribute your answers to me, and then when you finish, you tell your answers to me. Okay? Complete your group activity first. I know you are trying to copy them, but let give you answers to it. the right idea. You complete it, and then you can go ahead with your activity. Okay. Finish. They put them in column, column, column. This is true. Group six finish. Group six finish. Very good. Group six finish. These three groups was finished. Okay, group two finished. Group eight finished. Receiving students and sixes, we will go through the answers to the exercise. That's A, B, and C. Now students, let us look at exercise A. Group one, uh, group one up to group three. You did this exercise, is that correct? Now group one and group two, can you confirm this answer? Is this answer correct? Group one and group three, 
Is the answer correct? Okay, group one and group three have confirmed that the answer that uh, group two has given is correct. Let me check. Yes, this answer is correct. The working out is also correct. Thank you, group two, to do it on behalf of groups one and three. Let's have a uh, group two. Group four. Group six, okay. Group seven and eight, please confirm this answer here. Uh, group four and five. Group four and five, can you confirm group six work? Because you were doing the same exercise. Is the answer correct? Is the answer correct? Yes, the answer is correct. But if you look at this answer, something is, mis something is wrong here, this working out here, the whole working out. What is wrong in this whole, I mean, the answer is correct, but the working out. There's something that they have placed. What symbol can you see here? Equal sign. Equal sign is unnecessary to be placed here, okay? So please, don't try to put things or write things which you are not sure, because you might end up getting the wrong answer. So. Otherwise, the answer is correct. Six, six plus zero is six, and four eights are 12. Put on two, carry one. Seven threes are 10 plus one is 11. So the answer is 11.26. Okay, let's have the last group, which is group eight and group seven answer here. Are the two answers correct? Group eight and group uh, seven. Are the answers correct? Are the answers same? Yes, 12.54, 12.54. So these two answers are correct. Uh, group, uh, what's the group? Group nine. Group nine, can you confirm these two answers correct? Group nine? Okay, group nine have confirmed that the two answers given by group eight and group seven are correct. Now students, those are the answers for our exercise for today on adding decimals. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, please, receiving students and sixes, do make corrections on the answers or the questions or activities that were given. Now students, let us look at our summary points. Our summary points, first summary points, can you all read, students? Loud and clear. Again, read again. The most important rule when adding decimals is to So when you're adding decimal points, don't forget to align the decimal points. Point number two. Read together. Any empty spaces? Any empty spaces filled in with zero because of the Okay, and point number three. So these are the three main uh, points that you must remember when you are adding decimals. The three points are for, here's our summary note, or they are noted in our summary note.
Now, students, our key phrase for today's lesson. Align that decimal points to L. That's our key phrase for today's lesson. And our next lesson topic, subtraction of decimals. With that, students, this has brought us to the end of our lesson for today. And thank you very much for your participation.